they even referring to the Amdiya um, Muslim community that Khilafat is eternal. But at the same time, we believe there is a belief that prophets can come again, i.e. the door to prophethood is not shut. If Khilafat is eternal, why, there is, why is there a need for a prophet to come? Yangir Saab. Um, well, the thing is that uh, uh, prophethood as such has been said by the Holy Prophet Muhammad to have ended <coughs> prophethood and messengership. But he also left a window open and he said that the, but there is something which remains of prophethood and that's called al-mubashirat, which means good news. And he qualified it uh, thereafter, saying that that referred to the ru'ya of, uh, of, the, of the Muslim, meaning whatever is seen as a dream or vision, that would be you know, under that category. And he said that is one of the 46 parts of prophethood. So prophethood hasn't disappeared altogether. So there's a component. Which there's a component which remains. And that component had to remain because there had to be some kind of something of prophethood to come again so that the Khilafat could start uh, once again, ala min hajin nubuwa, mm. as uh, Dr. Saab had uh, explained a little uh, earlier on. Um, but the thing is that um, uh, the caliphs themselves, once they've been established, the question might uh, arise then, um, should uh, any of them, for example, become a prophet at some point? And that is a possibility, and indeed the Imam Hadi al-Islam has touched upon that. And he said that especially in the, at, at the end of times, the absolute end, when God is going to give the last chance to people, because as we know, every time the truth comes, the truth starts you know, very weak and among very few people who accept it, then it grows in strength and in, in its uh, tenure. But, and it goes, you know, it con continues to progress, but then it starts to regress again. And uh, you arrive at a point where people have abandoned the truth in, in effect. Mm -hmm. So before God up, uh, wraps up the this, this, this story of humankind, he said, Allah will send one person as a prophet who will call them back and say that, look, if you don't turn back to the truth now, God is about to wipe out all of you. Because all of them have, were previously following the Imam Mahdi al -Islam. And now if they've all gone rotten, God is about to end the story, as he does. This is what he does. And he said very few people will accept him, and then it will all be finished there and then. So that would have to be a prophet to do so. Um, so it doesn't preclude the, the coming of, uh, of prophets, the fact that the Prophet ﷺ said that prophethood and mm -hmm. messengership have ended, because there's always that window of al-mubashirat that remains. But as we say, ca the caliphate is, uh, is eternal, so therefore we should be able to make do with caliphs, as if we could say. But we have to remember that every prophet is also a caliph mm -hmm. anyway. Allah says, Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa. I'm about to put a caliph on earth. He doesn't say I'm going to put a prophet on earth. He doesn't say I'm going to put a messenger on earth. He says I'm about to place a caliph on earth. And who is that? Adam, mm -hmm. whom we know was a prophet, because Allah himself says it. He was a messenger, he was a prophet, but he, Allah calls him a caliph. Mm -hmm. So in effect, every uh, uh, prophet is also khalifatullah, he's the caliph of Allah. So whoever is chosen as a prophet, he's also a caliph anyway. So that, again, does, being a caliph does not preclude the fact that they can also be a prophet, on the contrary. And it's interesting that this question has been raised because when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu told the Muslims that you have to go and accept the Imam Mahdi when you hear his call, even if you have to crawl upon your knees in snow, as he said, Habwan uh, al why? He said, because he will be the Khalifatullah al-Mahdi. He will be Allah's Caliph, the Mahdi, which is a clear indication that being Allah's Caliph, he will also be a prophet. Mm -hmm. Because prophets are called Khalifatullah, Allah's Caliph, mm. you see. So there is a link between the two. And I think now that the question should be understood that every prophet is anyway a Caliph. Jazakumullah, young Yusuf, that's very